gotten off cloud nine yet? Uh, forcing myself to and uh, <laughs> trying to get our guys off, off cloud nine as well. Uh, certainly a great win for us and, and uh, guys feel super about it. Uh, can't let the emotion of that affect the game Tuesday though. And, and so at some point here, we've got to refocus. Uh, there'll be a day to talk about this game and uh, you know, uh, we're not uh, ready to, to, to rest right now. We've got to move on to the next thing. To, to have a game like that, you know, not not only just you know a, a great game, but also against your rival going into to a, you know this next contest. Just talk about the momentum that you feel like this will. will well, it should to. you know certainly give us some confidence. But I thought our guys played with confidence last night. They looked like a team that uh, thought they were going to win the basketball game, and so uh, we can build off of that certainly. And uh, we'll, we know we'll have Weber State's attention. Um, you know, they will not look past us. They're well coached and uh, had the season they had for a reason. So. Uh, it won't be as if we can walk in there and, and catch a team sleeping, and uh, our guys understand that. Now that you've gotten your, the monkey off your back with the win, is the shooting percentage the next thing to come around? The monkey <laughs> off my back? With, For what? With the with the win, I mean, after the five-game schneid. Uh, oh, uh, get, getting a back in the win column. Right. Yeah, it's good to be back in the win column, certainly. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a lot of our misses were around the basket. Right. You know, it was, it was great att attempts. I thought we really hustled on the backboard. and, and uh, Heck, I was really pleased with our shot selection last night. So, uh, it was a physical game. It was a grinder. It was a, it was a March game. It was a conference game. And, and uh, you know, I'm pretty pleased with, with how we converted uh, based on the environment and the situation. And, and uh, you know, like I told our guys, you know, next time around we'll be a little bit more comfortable finishing those shots around the basket. Uh, but I, I just thought we were really aggressive going to the rim, and sometimes so aggressive that we weren't able to finish the tip or the dunk. Right. You've said throughout the last couple of weeks that you've never questioned that your team has played with heart and played hard in every single game. Can you put your finger on one thing that maybe changed the outcome in this last one, and, and then how do you harness that? Well, you just keep working. You know, I always, you, you, as a coach, you preach to your guys about uh, working hard, and you'll be rewarded at some point. And I think we were rewarded last night. To, you know, these games can be, this game can be humbling at times. We've had, you know, five five losses going into the Montana game. But they're all tough games. They're all against good teams. and. And uh, you can get caught in schneids like that. Teams in the country, all around the country are, are caught in that, good teams. And, and uh, you can't get down. you got to keep focused, stay positive, and, and battle through it. Uh, you know, if, if we're going to get emotional and, and uh, be all over the board uh, and because we win or we lose, that's, that's how we're feeling all the time, then we're going to have a roller coaster of a ride. And, and uh, you know, credit our guys for really, really focusing last night and, and uh, putting the last few games of the regular season behind them and uh, playing what I thought was, you know, maybe our best game of the season. With splitting with Weaver this season, what can you take from, you know, the win? What can you take from the last loss that you're going to try and gain? Well, I think we'll probably gain more from the loss. You know, uh, it's not hard to go back and dissect that film and, and see how we lost it. Um, you know, Weaver is certainly a very good team, executes great, uh, but ultimately they have great shooters. And, uh, you know, 14 of 21 for three here was an awesome performance. And uh, we just got to guard them better. Yeah, I know that much. We scored 64, which, you know, we'll take that kind of number this time of year uh, for, for the kind of team we have. Uh, but defensively, we can't give up in the 80s again. Uh, Randy said that your first win over Weber was pretty much a perfect game from you guys. Would you say that, that their last win over you guys was pretty, pretty much a perfect game from Weber? Uh, it'd be hard to argue with that. Yeah. Uh, you know, anybody that shoots like that and, and, uh, and, you know, they made us look like we were in sand a lot of the night. Uh, and uh, you know they're just executing extremely well, highly confident. Uh, they were playing for something that night to, to go undefeated on the road, and, and uh, our guys knew exactly who we were playing in the tournament, where, when, and and uh, you know unfortunately we didn't give our best effort. Um, but at the same time, I don't know if it mattered. Weber really played well, and and uh, I think that'd be a nice synopsis is that we probably played about as well as we can play at their place, and they played it about as well as they could play here. How, how important is it to get out to a good start? Two things you didn't do in the first and second half against Weaver. Well, you know, eventually we're going to get off to a good start. I don't think we got off to a good start in Missoula mm -hmm. last night. We're down 9-2 and, and uh, you know, made a run to get back in the game. But, uh, you know, we definitely can't allow their crowd to become a factor. We've got to, you know, try to control some tempo and, and uh, keep it close and, and uh, very similar to last night. We talked about this before you guys played Weaver last week, but, uh, you know, how much does I mean, I got a knowledge in the back of your head that you guys are the one team that took one off from there. How much does that help? Well, I think it can help us. It gives us confidence to know it can be done. Uh, you know, also, I'm sure it helps in their locker room to say, hey, remember last time they were in, in August, guys, <laughs> what happened? So uh, those kind of things get negated this time of year. Uh, you know, I, I took something from the Colorado win, the Oregon State win, and, 
and the Utah Valley State win here, you know, overtime games and close games and figuring out a way and, and even using that, those, those analysis and, and timeouts last night with our guys. And, and uh, you know, I think we can gain confidence from all those type of, type of wins. You, you talked about, you know, the importance of shutting down Weaver's shooters, but, you know, for your team's offense, just how important is it to, to get those stops on defense that kind of feeds your, your offensive intensity? Well, we got to get stops because we, we have not been an efficient basketball team on the offensive end, although I, I think it, that day's coming. Um, you know, so it, it, it's, it, we, we, we feed off our defense. And, you know, last night was a game in the 50s. Um, you know, uh, that, that, that's, uh, that bodes well for us uh, because we were going to get somewhere in that mid-50 to mid-60 range offensively. Uh, we just can't give up the 80s like we did to, to Weaver last time we played. Coming again uh, against perimeter players like McCoy and Lillard, how much more confidence do you have after stopping a perimeter player like Anthony Johnson pretty well uh, last night? Well, we, we did a decent job on Anthony last night. Uh, McCoy and Lillard are, boy, they're awfully good, and they feed off of each other. All their offense flows through them, and, and uh, not just the first time through the, the series, maybe in a, on a possession, but the second time as well. And, so you just can't relax, and, and uh, they're, they're, they can hurt you in transition. They can hurt you when you're just standing there, and they'll throw up a 25-footer. And so uh, they're they're great players. Uh, you know, we, we got to do a much better job. I think Lillard's improved more, you know, as much as any player in the league since the beginning of conference season. He was a way different player when we saw him in Bozeman than when we saw him in Ogden, and and uh, so our guys have to respect that. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you, coach. Thank you.